Hi, my name is Robert Daff and I'm here today with Two Egg TV. And we're in a special place today that most people don't know about. It's a, it, it's, it's a wonderful landmark and it, it's the name of it is actually the Sexton's Mill. Uh, Mr. J.W. and J.W. Dillmore and his wife, they're going to show us about this mill. It's a grist mill and it's actually a stone ground. It's run by water. And uh, so come along with us and let's watch this and learn something about grinding corn. This comes from Sears and Roebuck. And what we'd do, we'd take it and we'd put it in the barn door, sit down on the end of it, take your ear of corn, and hook it on the nail and split the shuck in half and then shuck your corn. And then we'd put it in the basket over here. Okay, just to let you know about the mill house here, there's a retaining wall right across here that holds the water back into the pond. There's a, a solid wall from from right about here to that wall that only has one hole cut in it and it's uh, the gate for the mill closes that hole up. But now these three posts here on the end of them is a is a, well, a flood gate. If I have a lot of rain and have to get rid of a lot of water, I can just pull those gates up and let the water go. But here where the, the gate is that controls the mill, uh, I can pull that gate up and it lets the water go through a chute into a, a box that contains a tub type turbine. And that tub type turbine is, is got a wooden box uh, surrounding it to make the water go through the turbine and turn it. And the lighter not bearing is one just like that and that, that metal turbine sits on that and turns. Of course when you turn the water to it, the water's pouring over and it's water cool so, so it, it never wears out. That's just one that has been taken out, it wore a little one-sided. Uh, my father bought it back in the 20s and of course I was born in 39 and I've been here all my life and uh, I have ground corn on it. Uh, my daddy used to have cows in the woods and he and the men would go and uh, round up the cows and bring them in and he'd leave me here to grind while he was gone. So I would run the mill and bag the mill while he was uh, doing his cows. And I've shucked corn, I've ground corn. We even had a mill run. We sold meal to the different stores and we delivered meal. On top of that saddle that this rock sits on is a, what we call a rattle staff. And you'll see when I turn the water to it how this turns and it makes this shaker bump like that and, and the corn falls out to go and it gets between your rocks. Now there's grooves cut in both surfaces of the rock. <clears throat> the top of the bottom rock and the bottom of the top rock. And they're wider in the center and worked out uh, shallow in the edge so that the uh, corn, as it grinds into meal, it'll work out to the edge. Then you just put a hoof around it to catch it and cut a hole in one side here. And as the rock turns, it, it makes the meal come out and you catch it in the box down there.
This is what you call the lazy bench. He'd fill the hopper up full of corn, and while it was grinding, he'd lay here and he'd take him an old block of wood that was got up in the top there and make him a pillar. And he'd lay down here and sleep, and every now and then he'd get up and um, he'd reach over here in the corner and he'd get his bottle and he'd take him a little sip and then he'd lay back down and hope the mill didn't run out of corn. This goes back to the 18, 1884, this building, everything here, and the Dillmores have preserved this and are still working at preserving it, and we want to thank them so much for what they've done to preserve what was left of them and preserve it for us so we can come and see it because there's not any left pretty much that I know of even in North Florida but they were, there were hundreds of them everywhere. In fact, uh, Mr. Dillmore was telling me, started counting up how many were here, and, and everybody was in a short wagon ride to a grist mill. And one of the main things is here in the South, corn was a staple. And without that corn, folks couldn't survive. So anyway, we want to thank Mr. and Ms. Dillmore for showing us this, and I got to bring it out again. We've got a little piece of wood here that's probably Put it in there in 1884, and it's a little counter thing to put the corn in there, but the magic of it is it's been used all those years and it's still there, this piece of persimmon. Little things like that just catch my attention and maybe it will yours. Uh, I want to thank you for coming in and watching Two Egg TV. I hope we learned something today, and uh, we got us some meal to eat. So y'all take care, and we'll see y'all later. <laughs>